Pittsburgh Pirates Brian Reynolds is your National League Player of the Week presented by Chevrolet. And let's take a look at the numbers that he put up through April 3rd through the 9th. I would say that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, this is nice. 12 RBIs, slugging over 1,100, seven extra base hits, 12 for 25. And Brian Reynolds, uh, good enough to uh, join us here this morning here on MLB Central in advance of the Pirates series uh, finale against the Houston Astros. That game gets underway 1235 local time at PNC Park. Brian Reynolds, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. What has been working for you? What has been the reason for this hot start of yours? Uh, I mean, I think it just always comes down to one thing with me, and that's my timing. If I can be on time, be early, get my foot down and all that, then I'm usually in a decent spot. And when I don't have that, then, you know, I'm not in a good spot. So that's pretty much so all Bri it is. So, Brian, kind of jumping off that, if that's your, that's your belief, is that why you just kind of scrap, leg kick, toe tap, whatever you're searching for, and gone to, like, almost – what appears to be a two strike, get the foot down and react. Yeah, so um, left handed, I've, I, you know, I've kind of messed around with toe tap, leg lift, all that, but it's never really that that easy for me to keep it going. So, you know, just like you said, um, you know, a few games ago, I just got down to my legs more and said, you know what, I'm just going to try a little two strike approach here and get my foot down as early as possible and just kind of sit and wait for it. and. You know, since then, it's been a little easier for timing and pitch recognition and everything like that. Brian, it looks like, I mean, for someone, a 50-year-old out of shape, dude, it looks like that hurts. <laughs> it looks like it hurts being that deep into your legs. I mean, obviously, obviously you're training and, and that comes into play, but, but, I mean, are you, how does that feel? What's that sensation like? Yeah, I mean, I'd be lying if by the, the fifth at bat of the night, I'm not, you know, my legs aren't barking at me a little bit. So I got to, you know, you'll see from my first, I'll be a little lower and then I'll kind of creep up and have to try to sink back down. But um, yeah, my legs get tired doing that. <laughs> Ryan, exciting ending to yesterday's game. What did you see off the bat? Did you know it? Because he, he laid the bat down a flip, all of it. Oh, yeah, that was a great at bat. Um, you know, he threw him a couple tough pitches and had him two strikes early and he just fought and you know got that that change up inside and stayed on it and I knew right off the bat so you know that was exciting for Bay he's a he's a great player for us. Zero and I are always curious these celebrations right there at home does he touch home like uh, out of <laughs> look like he missed out it. Out of a hundred times how many times does he yeah. touch home? <laughs> I was right there, and I saw him start running hard and jumping, and I was like, oh, man, I hope he touches it. And I, tried, I tried to look, and I don't know. I think one spike might have gotten it. All right, but there you go. The same. It. Hey, hey, Brian, you know, I feel like one of the best stories of the year this year is Andrew McCutcheon coming back to Pittsburgh. What has that been like to have that guy in your clubhouse? It's been really special. Um, he means a, a lot to the city and to the fans, and, just to the team in general and to have that type of veteran presence in the locker room and the dugout, you know, the, the veteran at bats he takes. Um, it's great for us because we're, we're a pretty young team and to see how the fans react to him like, yeah, like you're seeing right now on opening night, it was uh, fun to see. Ryan, I want to ask you a question. Uh, answer it how, how, however you feel. Contract talks, trade talks, your demands, wanting to stay with Pittsburgh, everything that's going on behind the scenes, which is all awesome, going to make you a very rich man and you're deserve it, deserving of it. How do you eliminate, how are you able to eliminate those things and, and you've gotten off to a great start? So how do you just put your head down and say, I'm leaving that alone? Yeah, I think it's just trying to separate off-field things from on-field. When you step on the field, it's just time to, time to play and try to do everything you can do to win and try to help the team in whatever, you know, aspect you can. So it's just separating it and just, you know, being a professional. Well, you guys have, have played uh, some very good baseball to start the season. I love the, the fans getting into it. I mean, they were so uh, ecstatic after the win last night. But you guys have added a little wrinkle to the home run celebration. Uh, you've added uh, th their sword play, I understand, Brian, <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in, in, in the dugout. Uh, how did this come about? And uh, that's not a real sword, correct? 
Yeah, it's not a real sword, thankfully, because, uh, you know, G-Man was waving it yeah, all around. But, uh, you know, I don't I don't really know how it how it came about, um, but but it's just something fun to, to do after Homer. I haven't gotten to do it yet, so hopefully hopefully I'll hit another one this season and I'll be able to play with it a little bit. I think you'll be all right. We know G-Man uh, believes in ghosts. Do you, Brian? Ghosts? Yeah. Uh, I've had, yeah, I've had a couple ghostly experiences, I'd say. Wait. So. I'm what? not. I'm not ruling anything out there. You, okay. All right. Give it. I mean, can you I, I mean, expand you on that share. a little bit? <laughs> yeah. You actually. Well, just kind of. We have a like a little family place up in the mountains that my great grandma used to live in, and uh, one day we were all gathered in the living room, and like a little lantern behind us all turned on. So yeah. that was yeah. a little. Uh, was that grandma? A little weird. Hmm. Or was Might she? Been. Maybe she was just saying hi. Oh. <laughs> trying to send a message. Trying to. Send what are we message. having for breakfast before the Buckos <laughs> strap it on? Uh, I don't know. I'm not even a real big breakfast guy. I'll probably go in and uh, pretend to like eggs, eat a couple eggs, <laughs> some bacon, and uh, my big thing before a day game is to get some some P4 energy going. So I'll probably probably try and get 300 milligrams in me and go. Okay. All right. He's, it, trying, he's like an intermittent intermittent fasting. He <laughs> just doesn't like eggs. Over easy, scrambled. He doesn't Over like easy. them. I know, but he's going to eat them. I'm asking what? What kind? He's going scrambled. Uh, just probably <laughs> scrambled. There you go. Scrambled. <laughs> just <laughs> kind of get through it. Scrambled. There you go. Hey, Brian, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate the time. Congratulations on your success, and best of luck moving forward to you and the Pirates. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Brian. You got it. That's yeah. Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates. He's had a few ghostly experiences. How about that one? Lantern turned on. Coincidence? <laughs> or grandma. <laughs> it was grandma saying hi. Buy in. Mm.